Dear Mr. Hanafi, Vice Principals, Teachers and Friends, We are Nicholas Ko, Chloe Go and Tan Rui Jie. We are from E2K Science and we are here to tell you more about Earth Day and how it is celebrated globally in Singapore. Earth Day is a global movement that aims to educate and activate the environmental movement around the world. This year's theme is Invest in our Planet. We should come together to restore nature and do our part to build a healthy planet for ourselves. Time is short and we need to take action now. Notable campaigns that occur around the world include the removal of billions of trash from the environment and shrinking our footprint, which is the environmental impacts associated with the growing, producing, transporting and storing of our food. Singapore has come up with Green Plan 2030, a nationwide movement to do our part to build a sustainable future. One of the five pillars, sustainable living, focuses on recycling better to live sustainably. Clean and Green Singapore, a campaign by the National Environment Agency, aims to inspire Singaporeans to take care for and protect our environment by adopting a clean, green and sustainable lifestyle. This year, Clean and Green Singapore aims to motivate us to recycle right. Have you noticed these blue bins near your neighbourhood or even in our school? Do you know that 40% of items in recycling bins can be recycled due to contamination? Here in Pongo Green Primary School, we are here to teach you how to recycle right. Let Rui Jie tell you more. What can we put in these blue bins? Let's watch this video by Miss Denise Keller to find out more. Recycling is easy and convenient. You don't have to go very far to meet one of these guys. Every residential block has one of them. And you don't even need to sort out the recyclables. And why is the recycling rate still so low? Well, that's mainly because of contamination. 40% of what is placed in these bins cannot be recycled, and one of the biggest problems is contamination by food and liquids. Hi, I'm Denise Keller, and I'm here to share with you the importance of recycling right. The more we recycle, the less we have to incinerate, and we will dump less on our only landfill on Semakau. But to make the effort meaningful, we need to recycle right. Why are there tree trunks in here? Hey, It smells so bad in here, which it shouldn't. Ah, we got diaper! Trash, just regular trash again. Cigarette butts, look at these cigarette butts. <sighs> Oh, this one's really bad. <laughs> Please remember that the blue bins are not for general trash. They're conveniently located to encourage recycling and not to be treated as a spare dumpster. So how not to sabo other people? First things first, let's learn what we can or cannot place in the blue bins. What we can place in the blue bins are newspapers, metal cans, plastic bottles. What we can place in the blue bins, electronics, broken goods, toys. Also, if recyclables are contaminated by food or liquids, they're no different to general waste. A simple rinse is good enough to make these containers recyclable. Our blue bins shouldn't smell, be messy, or treat it as a dumpster for general waste, food and drinks. If we can reduce contamination and recycle more, less will have to be incinerated and of course landfilled. We like to think by going green and recycling more, we're saving the planet. But ultimately, when we put in the effort, we're saving ourselves. And one way to do that is to recycle right. Remember, we should only put in items made from metal, plastic, glass and paper. Also, be sure that the items are rinsed thoroughly before recycling. Besides recycling paper, metal and glass, do you know that only some types of plastic can be recycled? Let's watch this video to find out. 
different types of plastics and their classifications. Those little triangles molded into the bottom of plastic items are called SPI codes. There are seven in total and are designed to help us recycle and dispose of each different type of plastic. SPI code one indicates products made from polyethylene terephthalate. PET plastic is used to make many common household items like beverage bottles and peanut butter jars and makes up about 96% of all the plastic bottles and containers in the United States. SPI code two identifies plastic made with high density polyethylene. HDPE products are very safe and can withstand extreme heat or cold, making HDPE perfect for milk cartons, shampoos, and detergents. SPI code three is made with polyvinyl chloride or PVC. PVC can be harmful if ingested. It is not recycled often and most commonly found in plumbing pipes. SPI code four. Items made from low-density polyethylene are safe for food storage and tend to be durable and flexible. LDPE is used to make plastic wrap, sandwich bags, and squeezable bottles. SPI Code 5. Plastic items made with polypropylene. This type of plastic is used to make syrup bottles, plastic diapers, and prescription bottles. When recycled, polypropylene is used to make ice scrapers, rakes, and other durable items. SPI Code 6 is polystyrene, more commonly known as styrofoam. Polystyrene cannot be recycled efficiently. Therefore, items like disposable coffee cups, plastic cutlery, and packing peanuts can be harmful to the environment. In fact, this material accounts for about 35% of U.S. landfill materials. SPI code 7 is used to designate miscellaneous types of plastic that are not defined by the other six codes. Plastic DVDs, baby bottles, and medical storage containers are often SPI 7. And there you have it. The next time you flip over a milk jug or a bottle of water, you'll be an expert. Next time, do look out for the logo at the bottom of the plastic container. If it is contaminated with food or liquid, it cannot be recycled unless it is rinsed properly. We have a challenge for you. In PGPS, we will be having our own Save That Pen movement. We would like you to bring pens that are in good workable condition but you don't want to use them. Instead of throwing it away, how about donating it to the class and see if any classmate would like to adopt the pen? Oh, is it like a pen swap with our classmates? Yes, you are right. From now till this Wednesday, we would like you to contribute these pens and put them up for adoption. You can also adopt pens from your classmates. There you go. Hope you learned something about recycling right. Thank you for tuning in to the E2K Science Broadcast. Stay tuned for more during assembly. assembly.